Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to look at something different, not a Lexus. You do see a Toyota here, but it's not related to a Toyota as well. But right now, what this is, is it's the Electrion, the, the company that actually invests in wireless charging, but not for your cell phone, not Qi wireless charging, nor your toothbrush, but this time it's for an EV car. So you can see here, breaking the EV range anxiety, 100 hour drive. What is this? So let's look into this and see what this new technology is. So we have here, Electrian Wireless Electric Road Technology sets a new world record the longest distance ever driven by a passenger electric vehicle, EV, for over 100 hours, solving the most acute challenges of EV adoption. So think of it, if I can drive my EV for 100 hours without having to go and stop charging for like even the fastest 15 minutes to 80, wouldn't that be great? I think it would. So let's go and look at this press release a little bit more and see what this is really is. So you can see here May 30th press release from Israel. So Electrian announced a new world record for the longest time and distance ever driven non-stop. So they have not stopped in charge by a passenger electric vehicle, an EV. So what they're saying here is during the 100 hour demonstration last week, so this was conducted the week before and they, they actually use, and it's not a pure EV, they actually use the Toyota RAV4, a plug-in hybrid, and they've actually covered 1,942 kilometers, that's 1,206 miles, using the Electrian proprietary wireless electric road technology. This milestone proves that Electrian's wireless charging technology effectively addresses two key challenges of EV transition. One is range anxiety and battery size. So this actually eliminates the range anxiety by in enabling an endless driving and demonstrates that a compact 18 kilowatt hour battery is no longer a limiting factor of EV adoption. So looking at this, just reading this first paragraph, honors to this company, because if, think of it, if we have a 70 kilowatt battery vehicle with 18 kilowatts, you can essentially selling one larger battery EV means that you can sell three to almost four of these battery electric vehicles, just having 18 kilowatt battery. And well, the RAV4 can still use gas and can go further if the wireless technology is not available on those roads. So let's see what this says further here. So they're saying that the team was expected to drive about 1,500 kilometers, 932 miles in a five-day driving rally. However, they successfully completed the demonstration with 33% more driven kilometers. So let's say here, so they said the, the president of Israel, honored by the company, stated that the objective of this was 100-hour non-stop driving rally, which demonstrated an unlimited technology potential of wireless electric road technology, powering EVs to drive indefinitely with a minimal battery. And they've actually done it quite well. This is yet another clear signal that our wireless electric road technology is ready for large-scale commercial products globally. Really great. So what they're saying here, so over 100 hours straight driving driving rally. So, okay, it's not one driver driving the 100 hours. I'll be crazy if that happens, right? So it's 56 different drivers, 48 which are members of the Electrian team and Israel Racing Driver uh, also participated in this 100 hours straight for five days, pausing only to switch drivers and never had a dedicated charging downtime. So the Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid is equipped with a lightweight 18 kilowatt hour battery and was never depleted fully discharged because the electric road continuously charged the vehicle as it drove around the track. 
So they drove about 2,000 kilometers, and the wireless EV charging technology increased the range at least 26 times more than the current vehicle's real-world maximum range limits. So, so the most important thing is the public-private cooperation of this benefit of all societies. So what do you think? Do you think this will actually work in, um, in the Americas or in your country? I think it will. The company's demo track spanning 200 meters showcased the remarkable potential of wireless charging. Even with 25% of the track electrified, the vehicle, okay, provides endless of any electric vehicle. This shares charging platform supports multiple users simultaneously, accommodating small passenger vehicles, large e-trucks, and battery technology agnostic. So it doesn't matter what battery technology it uses. And this will actually eliminate large batteries. And I totally agree. We don't need like a 100 kilowatt battery in the car. And only reduces the total cost of EV ownership and the environmental impacts, but also provides unparalleled advantage of extended, if not unlimited range. I totally agree. I think this is actually a very good way to do this. So what, what are they doing here? So they actually said they... The company has commercially operation for many years across Europe, Middle East, and North America. And after setting the world record of driving 1,942 kilometers in 100 hours, the longest time ever distance driven by a passenger EV. Okay, and they will be installing the award-winning technology in downtown Detroit this summer. So Detroit, okay, and this is actually really cool. So if Detroit, does Detroit also get snow? I really want to understand how this technology works when it's in rain and snow conditions. But it seems like this is starting to become reality as well. So I think the only problem that I'm seeing here is um, the costs. The costs and municipals actually putting this into their roads. And I think upfront, it actually makes sense. And maybe all we need to do is put this on freeways and highways. Don't put it on the local roads. Once all the freeway and highways are all done, then you go and put it into your major streets. Because these EVs or plug-in hybrids have distance, right? If you look at it, the Route 4 plug-in hybrid 18 kilowatt battery, actually you can drive 75 kilometers, right? So you don't need to have uh, a full network of roads having it. All you really need is if I can drive on the highway to a destination and then I get off the highway and I go on the local roads not actually using the battery and then I get to my destination I then drive like let's say another 10 kilometers back down the highway I drive on the highway it charges while I'm driving or even if it maintains then I go back on to the local roads and drive another 10 kilometers that will do the job. I'm, I, I can actually drive more than 75 kilometers. I think that actually will work. That model probably would be a good thing to do. And really, start with the toll roads. Use those toll roads, highways, and put them in. I think this will be great technology so that it will pay for it, for installing it, and also the adoption will be drastically higher. If you think of a 100 kilowatt battery vehicle and now you can just put in a 20 kilowatt let's say that is like five of these vehicles compared to one and again the car is much lighter which means what more efficient second thing will happen is it'll be faster because it's lighter but then you may lose that weight right the center of gravity of the vehicle being being able to perform better handle better but i think it, this is actually a very good technology because again solar doesn't do well it doesn't charge the battery fast enough but if this does this is something that i would say really would change this will definitely be a game changer for ev cars and the adoption of it because now if i'm just driving from my house to the cottage and it's all just say we have it all on highways I drive it on the highway, I get to the destination, and I drive another, let's say, 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers to the cottage. Then I can plug in there, 
and get it fully charged to 75 kilometers, come back on the highway and I can drive all the way, I can drive to the cottage without having to stop, people would say, this is what will be great. Because now you don't even need to stop at the gas station. All you need to do is stop because you need to go to the washroom or have a lunch or have a break. I think this is cool. And I think this is a technology that we should be adopting. But let's see what it costs. And you know, the government will say it's going to be costing too much. But we'll have to see how this will work. Because if this does work, I would say this will be the future of EVs. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.